वेलकम वंस अगेन टू माय दिस यूट्यूब चैनल हुज नेम इज नॉलेज एंटरटेनमेंट एंड आफ्टर द चैप्टर ऑफ रिलेशंस एंड फंक्शंस नाउ वी मूव ऑन टू द चैप्टर ऑफ ट्रिगोनोमेट्री सो आई स्टार्ट ट्रिगोनोमेट्री फ्रॉम द वेरी बेसिक्स ट्रिगोनोमेट्री इज मेड फ्रॉम द ग्रीक वर्ड्स ट्रिगोन एंड मैट्रॉन these are the two greek words whose combination is given the name trigonometry trigonometry is a combination of these two words and the meaning of these two words is measuring sides of a triangle measuring sides of a triangle and the main purpose of trigonometry is to measure the sides and angles of a triangle using trigonometric ratios so this is the meaning of trigonometry and now we move on to the very basics of trigonometry the first thing we should know is what is an angle and how is it being measured there are three main systems but we will discuss it later on first i'll define what an angle is angle is measure of rotation of a ray about a point and this ray is called the initial line and the final position of this ray is called the terminal line and angle is the measure of rotation so suppose it is your ray and this is your point the fixed point o this line this ray may rotate anti clockwise it may rotate clockwise if it rotates anti clockwise that means in this direction then we say that the angle is positive and if it rotates clockwise then we say that the angle is negative this was this is o this is a so what is your oa your oa is the initial line initial line if it rotates anti clockwise so ob will be the position final position and will be called the terminal line so ob may be the terminal line it is the case when the initial line or the ray rotates in anti clockwise direction and if it rotates clockwise the final position may be oc and oc is also terminal line but the angle in this case is negative angle in the first case was positive when the ray was rotating anti clockwise now there are basically three systems of measurements of an angle these three systems are the first one is known as sexagesimal system sexagesimal system also known as sometimes it is known as english system the second one is called centesimal system and is sometimes known as french system and the third one is circular system and is sometimes known as indian system so basically these are the three systems in which we measure an angle they have different units in the first case in the case of sexagesimal system the 
बेसिक यूनिट ऑफ मयरमेंट ऑफ एन एंगल इज डिग्री इज डिग्री देन दिस डिग्री इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू मिनट्स एंड मिनट्स आर फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू सेकेंड्स इन द सेकेंड सिस्टम सेंटेसिमल सिस्टम द बेसिक मयर ऑफ द एंगल इज ग्रेट्स ग्रेट्स समटाइम्स इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ग्रेड्स और इवन गॉन सो वी मे कॉल एन एंगल टू बी ऑफ ट्वेंटी ग्रेड्स और ट्वेंटी ग्रेड्स और ट्वेंटी गॉन दीज ग्रेड्स ग्रेड्स और गॉन दे आर फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू मिनट्स बट दीज मिनट्स आर नॉट सेम एज दीज मिनट्स दे आर डिफरेंट and these minutes are further divided into seconds and once again these seconds and these seconds are different things they are not same in third system that is circular system there is only one unit and that is called radian that is called radian now we define what is a degree what is a grade what is a radian first we will talk about degree so what a degree is what is measurement that is equal to 1 degree as angle is the measurement of rotation so one complete revolution and it's 100 uh, 301 divided by 360 that means 360th part is called a Degree. So I write one degree. One degree is equal to three hundred sixtieth part of a complete revolution. So it is one hundred. 60th, 360th part of a complete revolution. Then gradient or grade or grad or gone. So one grade. I'm just changing it here. One grade of centesimal system. It is equal to 400 part of a complete. revolution and the third one is radian so how we define radian radian one radian is the angle subtended by subtended by a unit arc a unit arc in a unit circle so here unit circle means circle of radius 1 unit arc means arc of length 1 whatever the unit may be if it is say if the radius is 1 cm then arc will be of 1 cm if circle is 1 meter then this arc will also be of 1 meter and so on one thing here is to be noted that we are talking about a unit circle and what is the circumference of a circle it is 2 pi r but for a unit circle when the radius is 1 this 2 pi r will become equal to 2 pi into 1 that means 2 pi now unit arc subtends angle equal to 1 radian that means Uh, if the length of the arc is one, then angle subtendence is also one radian. And for the complete revolution, the length of the arc is equal to the circumference, and circumference is two pi. That means for the complete revolution, the angle subtended will be equal to two pi radians. So that means two pi radians is. the measure of 
angle for a complete revolution for a complete revolution now we see these definitions other way round the way what it will tell so i am roughly drawing a circle here so it is a circle here is the center of the circle it is one radius you can say oa now in the first case One degree was three hundred sixtieth part of a complete revolution. That means what is the complete angle? That is three hundred sixty degree. Because one degree is for three hundred sixtieth part. For the second case, one gradient was four hundredth part. So what will be the complete angle? That will be four hundred, and we write gradient for G or gone four hundred gone. In the third case, we have seen that the angle of complete revolution is two pi radians. That means what we deduce is three hundred sixty degree is equal to four hundred gradients is same as two pi radians. so this is the connection between the three different systems sexagesimal system centesimal system and circular system as i have discussed earlier in sexagesimal system one degree is further divided into minutes and how many minutes it is 60 minutes and for minute we write this dash and then this one minute is further divided into seconds how many seconds 60 seconds we put two slash for seconds one slash or one dash for minutes so one degree is equal to 60 minutes and one minute is equal to 60 seconds this is the first case that is sexagesimal system for the sexagesimal system these are the relation between degree minutes and seconds second was centesimal system and the basic unit is gradient or grade or grad or gone and one grade is equal to this time it is 100 minutes and minutes we denote it by reverse slash earlier it was in this direction now it is in the other way so one gradient is equal to 100 minutes and one minute is equal to 100 seconds for the second again we will put two reverse slashes two reverse dashes for seconds so this is the relation between gradients minutes and seconds in centesimal system and the third system that is the circular system there is only one unit and that is known as radian and radian is not further divided into any parts now the question arises how to convert an angle from sexagesimal system into the centesimal or from centesimal to circular or from circular to sexagesimal or from any one system to any other system how to convert these angles so we will discuss some questions today in this lecture so i am taking first question as this is the first question today convert convert 45 degree 32 minutes 18 seconds into centesimal system into centesimal system this is our question it is very much clear from the notation the minutes is simple slash second is simple double slash so it is sexagesimal system and now we are to convert this angle into the centesimal system so what we will do first our line of action will be we will convert these seconds into the minutes 
we will add these two and then whatever the minutes we will get we will convert these minutes into the degrees we will add these minutes to the 45 minutes here and whatever minute we will get here we will convert those minutes into the gradients and the decimal part of the gradients will be then converted into minutes and further into seconds this will be the line of action so solution i am giving is here these are 45 minutes 32 sorry 45 degree 32 minutes 18 seconds we know that 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds so if to convert seconds into minutes what we have to do we will have to divide by 18 so we will divide this last 18 seconds by 60 so it will become 45 degree 32 minutes 18 upon 60 and now these will be the minutes so it is further equal to 45 degree 32 minutes and these will become if you cancel out by 6 you will get 3 upon 10 so it will be 0 0.3 0.3 minutes so we are having 32 minutes here and 0 0.3 minutes here adding these two together we will get 45 degrees and 32.03 minutes now we will convert these minutes into degrees and we know that 1 degree is equal to 60 minutes in hexadecimal system so to convert these minutes into degrees what we will have to do we will have to divide it by 60 once again so it will become 45 degree and 32.03 divided by 60 now these are degrees not minutes now so it will become 45 degree and now divide this dividing this you will get 0 0.5338 degrees these are 45 degrees and these are further 0 0.5338 degrees adding these two you will get 45.0533 degrees now the whole quantity is in degrees we know that 90 degree is equal to 100 grades why because 360 degree was equal to 400 grades so from here we can get 1 degree is equal to 10 upon 9 grades this is the conversion of from degree to gradients now 1 degree is equal to these much gradients so these much degrees will be equal to this multiplied by 10 upon 9 gradients so you will get 45.05338 multiplied by 10 upon 9 and now these will be the gradients so we have converted from sexagesimal system into the centesimal system further the calculation is still there so i divide this and dividing it will become 5 0 point 0 5 9 3 gradients this will be the calculation and now we will keep the whole number part that means the integral part 50 so these are 50 gradients and the rest of the gradients are 0 0.0593 gradients these are the gradients are we know <coughs> we know that one gradient is equal to 100 minutes this time because we are working now in centesimal system so these decimal part of gradients we will convert it into minutes so to convert it into minutes what we have to do we will multiply it by 100 and now it will become centesimal minutes so 
what you will get? You will get 50 gradients and this will become 5.93 centesimal minutes. Once again, the integral part we will keep. We will keep 50 gradients, 5 minutes and now 0.93 minutes. This decimal part, 0.93 minutes, now we will convert it into seconds, centesimal seconds. And we know that 1 centesimal minute is equal to 100 centesimal seconds. So we once again will multiply with 100 and it will become seconds. So what the quantity we are going to get now is 50 gradients, 5 centesimal minutes and 93 centesimal seconds. So what the angle we were originally having in sexagesimal system measuring 45 degree 32 minutes 18 seconds in centesimal system is now equal to 50 gradients 5 minutes 93 seconds. So it is conversion from sexagesimal system to centesimal system. Now we will have one question in the reverse way that, we, that means we will convert some angle given in centesimal system into the sexagesimal system. So the second question of today, convert, convert, I am taking any angle, suppose it is uh, 27 gradients, 27 minutes, 27 seconds in centesimal system, convert this angle into sexagesimal system. So now the question is reverse sexagesimal system we are to find and we are given the angle in centesimal system. So solution once again what the line of action will be? Once again the line of action will be similar. These seconds will be converted into centesimal minutes will be added here. Whatever the minutes that we will have we will convert these minutes into centesimal grades and then will be added here and will have the complete angle in grades. From grades then we will move into the sexagesimal system that means degrees. In the degrees we will keep integral part and the decimal part then will be converted into the minutes. From the minutes once again the integral part will be kept and the fractional part will be converted into the sexagesimal seconds and we will have the angle in sexagesimal system. So I am going to proceed now. The angle given is 27 grades, 27 minutes, 27 seconds. First of all, these seconds will be converted into the minutes. So 27 grades, 27 minutes and these are 27 centesimal seconds. We know that one centesimal minute is equal to 100 centesimal seconds. So, to convert these centesimal seconds into the minutes, we will have to divide it by 100. So, it will become 27 upon 100 centesimal minutes. That means, we will get 27 gradients. These are 27 centesimal minutes and here we will get 0.27 minutes. These are minutes, these are also minutes. We will have to add them and adding it will become 27 0.27 centesimal minutes and now these centesimal minutes will be converted into the centesimal grades. So once again we know that one grade is equal to 100 minutes. So these minutes will be converted into the grades by dividing it by the quantity 100. So what we will get? We will get 27 grades and 27.27 divided by 100 grades. So you will get 27 grades and it will become 0 0.2727 grades. These are grades, these are also grades. So adding together we will get 27.2727 grades. These are in grades now. And once again we will use the fact that 100 grades is equal to 90 degrees. So what is 1 grade is equal to 9 upon 10 degrees. So 
1 grade is equal to these much degrees and we are having 27.2727 grades so these will be equal to 27.2727 multiplied by 9 upon 10 and now it will be converted into degrees so this is equal to once again we are to multiply by 9 and divide by 10 so it will be 63 then 3 6 4 2 2 will be here 5 6 6 will be added here is 23 2 2 adding to 63 will be 65 and 6 added to 18 will be 24 and divided by 10 you will have this quantity so these much degrees you will have now we will keep the integral part that means 24 degrees the rest of the degrees that means 0 0.53 543 these degrees will be converted into minutes and we know that one degree in sexual decimal system is equal to the 60 minutes so we will multiply it by 60 so what we will get we will get 24 degrees and then multiplying what we are going to get is 8 then 125 2 32 3 21 2 and 32 so this is 32.1 to 5 minutes once again we will keep the integral part so 24 degree 32 minutes and these 0.1258 these minutes will be converted into seconds so multiply by 60 and these will be seconds here again these were minutes because we have multiplied by 60 so what we are going to get now is 24 degree 32 minutes and multiply these together you will get 2516 so 25 approximately 25 seconds so what the angle was in centesimal system equal 26 gradients 27 minutes to 27 seconds in sexual decimal system is equal to 24 degree 32 minutes and 25 seconds similarly we can convert angles from sexual decimal system into the radian system from radian system into the sexual decimal system from centesimal into the circular system from circular into the centesimal system and so on I am going to stop video here in the next video we will learn how to convert angles from sexual decimal system and centesimal system into the radial system that means circular system and vice versa before stopping it over here I would like to thank you for liking my videos for sharing with your friends especially 10 plus 1 students and subscribing my channel so once again thanks thanks a lot